Jari Britt is just one of those prodigy talents. I think she's still in her teens, but uh, you know she was she really made a name for herself when she was about 11. Um, we sort of waited until she got a little bit uh, more musical maturity, and I'm thrilled that we have her now um, in her late teens. <laughs> with us the Sansons cello concerto which we haven't done here in many a year that's a great delightful piece it, it goes down really easily like uh, like great champagne um, Camille Sansons was just a, a spectacular prodigy himself at everything that he did piano composition especially and could write in so many different styles from Carnival of the Animals to the organ symphony and this cello concerto is one of the most delightful uh, aspects of his output. So Sujari is going to be playing that. We're going to open the concert with a piece that's definitely a West Michigan Symphony premiere and who knows may very well be a West Michigan or Michigan premiere. A piece by Florence Price, a great American composer, called Dances in the Cane Breaks. Um, these were originally piano pieces that were orchestrated by William Grant Still. <laughs> And still himself another amazing American composer whose music is being more and more played around the United States. Um, he was the first African-American composer to be performed by a major orchestra that was the Los Angeles Philharmonic. <laughs> I progressed to writing about the colored man in America, and thus the Afro-American Symphony was born. It was inspired as long ago as 1916 when I went to Memphis to orchestrate for W.C. Handy and to play in his orchestra. There I heard the blues sung by people who had originated them and I realized that they were not the sensual expression that most people thought, but the yearnings of a lowly people for a better life. I resolved then that someday I would try to elevate that musical form to symphonic level, and that was the motivation for the Afro-American Symphony. It is based in its entirety on a blues theme. performing his Afro-American Symphony, which is a piece I love dearly, have conducted many times, and have wanted to bring here. I'm thrilled to be able to do it here at the West Michigan Symphony.